All right, here we are with Leanne from Luxwall. We're gonna go over this vacuum glazing sample. So two questions I get a lot are around the port in the corner, which creates the vacuum, and then the micro pillars, which separate the two panes of glass. So Leanne's gonna give us a further explanation. Yeah, so the port I'll cover first, cause that's pretty easy. It's either in the upper corner or the bottom corner, upper left or bottom right. And I always recommend the upper left-hand corner because ultimately when you have a large piece of glass and you're in a building, you have some sort of window treatment, whether it's a blind, a shade, what have you, it's gonna cover up that port. You'll never even know it's there. And then on the pillars, they're so small, it's virtually impossible to see. As you can see, as we zoom in, we're putting white behind it, trying to get the example of the pillars. And you can see they're so small, they're roughly around two inches on center, but they're so tiny, you'll never see them once they're really installed or it'll be very difficult to see because you know, you're looking through the glass and there's a lot of visual noise that tends to happen behind glass, whether it's trees or other buildings or things of that nature. They're very hard to see because they're so small. Any other questions, be sure to reach out to Leanne from Luxwall on vacuum glazing.